In this tutorial, you are going to learn the fastest and easiest way on how to display view stats at the back end and on the front end of your WordPress blog. So if you want to learn this, then keep watching. So here we are on the dashboard of our of my uh, WordPress site, okay? So the first thing that we want to do in here is to um, actually we will be adding new plugin that we can use to uh, display view stats on our back end and front end of our WordPress site, okay? And the name of the plugin that I am going to use to display view stats is Post Views Counter by Digital Factory. The reason why I like this one is that it's a very lightweight plugin. The file size of this plugin is only 110 kilobytes. Let's check. Here it is. It's just 110 kilobytes, okay? So let's begin right now. But by the way, before we start, let's double check our website right now. On my end, I am using a demo um, subdomain website, okay? As what you can see in here, if you are going to click one article, Let's, let's check one article just for the sake of this example. So for this example, as what you can see, there is not, there is no, it doesn't display uh, view stats. So on our end, we are going to display view stats somewhere in here. So that will be later after enabling the plugin that we are going to use in this tutorial. So with that said, let's head over to our dashboard again and let's head over to plugin and add new. And then we are going to search for the name of the plugin, which is Post Views Counter. And I'm going to copy this one and then paste it in here in the search box. Okay, once you found the plugin, just click on Install and then click on Activate. And once the plugin is activated, you can just go ahead here, head over to um, the setting of the plugin. You can find it in here under Settings. Here is the post views counter, or you can just click it in here. Okay, so let's let's first go to to the setting section of the plugin, so that we can tweak or customize the uh, the appearance of the plugin. Okay, so here it is. Actually, there is nothing much that you need to do in here. Of course, um, under general settings, you need to make sure that this these two uh, boxes in here are all checked, and if you want. Uh, under counter mode you can also choose this one or any of this but for me I'll just leave it as default I'll just leave it as it is so you also need to make sure that this one is clicked or checked so that you can um, display um, actually um, if you're going to check this one which is enabled to display post views count column for each of the uh, selected post types. Uh, what it will show up is, I will show you later, okay? So make sure that you, this one as well is checked so that you will be excluded from the view count or from the view stats. So that's all there is to it that you need to uh, tweak in here. But you need to make sure that if, uh, or if there are some IP addresses that you want to add in here to exclude, you can just do it so okay so you can uh, you can just add your own IP address if you if you want to be excluded from the view from the view count so that's all there is to it for what you are going to do in here but that's all you need to do in this part just click on save once it's saved let's double check the under display tab okay under this uh, display tab everything is already good to go in here there's nothing that you need to do in here actually everything in here is already fine with me so then just click on save okay since everything is already um, done in here we have already configured this plugin completely so let's head over to our to the front end of our website and let's just refresh this one Let's check to see if the plugin already works. So let's try this one. Let's open it up on a different window. And then um, here it is. The post view stat is already showing up in here in this post. So what if, or let's say, let's double check some other pages in here. The plugin already works. And here it is. And aside from that, here is what it looks like under uh, the back end section of this website. So let's head over to dashboard 
and here is what it looks like under dashboard so here it is the post views that's how it looks like in here this is a very this is a very lightweight plugin but it shows view stats in here on the on the back end and on the front end okay and aside from that here is what it gives you under post let's click on all posts and here is another feature that it offers okay it shows up in here that there is already a new column dedicated for viewing the view stat this is the uh, the view stat each and every post that you have in here already has view stats okay so that's the beauty of this plugin that's how easy it is for you to um, display view stats at the back end of your WordPress site and at the same time on the front end of your WordPress uh, blog okay so I think that's all there is to it for today so if you found this video helpful please give us like subscribe and share this with others that's all for now thanks for watching and see you on our next video bye bye